Shorts. I know. I feel it as well. Let's have a look. Let's see if we're up and running. Perfect. We're up and running. Terrific. Hello, my loves. How are you? Let's just check that one there. We're going to get a notice. Bingo, you're on. Perfect. We're up and running. Now, thank you very much for joining me this afternoon. We are going to have a little bit of a workout, but we're not going to do anything dramatic. When I was thinking of what to do uh, here on this thing here, I thought I would do with you, just to start with, just a warm-up. And this is the, the sort of thing that I would do uh, before maybe a show, if I was uh, going to be performing this evening in a show, and I'd been in the car for two hours or something, get into the theatre or, or the venue, wherever it is, uh, the, I would want to do this. This is the sort of stuff I would do, gentle. They do talk about warm-ups being more strenuous than the performance. We're not going to do that. We are just gonna, we're not doing a performance tonight, thank you very much. We're just going to have a bit of a warm-up and we're just going to get everything a bit loose. So that's all we're doing. I imagine you've been sitting in the, in the garden, sun, love, well, we're up, out of the chair. So we're just going to start off by getting things moving. So we start off with the shoulders, just rolling the shoulders, just like this, backwards here. And we're going to do everything, and because I'm a dancer, we're going to do everything in counts of eight. A one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Now forward, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One more time, forward, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good, just loose. I just want you to swing and swing from side. Let your arms loose, um, have no tension in your arms because I want the, uh, the momentum of your arms just to swing your body and give you that extra little bit of ooh at the end. Oh, there you are, just to let everything start to get a bit looser. We're going to give you, I'm going to be warming this up, so we're going to give it some eight. There you go, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, and eight. Good. Now again, just the shoulders. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, forward. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Lovely, jubbly. Now as you're doing this, I want you to hold your centre. Don't grip it. I don't want you to grip it rigidly. It will get there eventually. But just at the moment, I want you to hold your centre in. Feel as though, I mean, you've heard all these expressions before. Feel as though your belly button's attached to your spine. Feel as though someone's about, just about to poke you in the tummy and you go, oh, 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 oh. Now, just that. And just hold that. As you do the exercises, just hold that. This time we're going to do the arms uh, back again here, but we're going to do it with a bend. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And now we're going to do the whole thing again, four, but we're going to swing the arms over the top. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nice. Now again, if this is too hard, you can't swing the arms, you've got something wrong with your back or something like that, then just do the shoulders. But everything, just do it as you can, but just push yourself just a little bit. Because what we want to do is get a bit loose and get our heart rate up just a smidge. If you have a bead of sweat on the top lip, even better, but I want you to kill yourself. So good, all right, let's carry on with some side stretches, all right? And, but again, loose, I want everything to be loose. I don't want to be stiff or rigid, just loose. So I'm just gonna go here, and two, and three, good. Four, lovely. Five, transferring weight every time. Six, seven, eight. We'll do another eight of those because I'm sort of enjoying myself. Two, we've got a lovely, look at my arm, isn't it? Look, look at that arm. Let your arm be the same as that. Nice and long, seven and eight. Good, now do the swings again. One, two, three, good. Four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm loving this, we'll have another one of these. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Lovely, good. Individual shoulders now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Other shoulder. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Marvellous. I think you're doing tremendously. Well done. 
Feel a bit better? Feel a bit looser in the back and the shoulders? Taking all the tension out of the neck. The head is held just naturally. Take the tension out of the jaw. Don't grip anything. The key with all this stuff, it's only warm up. We're not doing exercise. We're just warming up. We're getting loose. So all tension out. Good. Should we go side stretch stretches again? Yes? Oh, okay, fair enough. Here we go. Ready? One, two, three. Good. Four, five, six, seven. We'll do another round. Come on. One. Sun's out. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good. And just shake. Shake and breathe. One more. Shake the arms and breathe. Let's have a look. Any comments? Let's see how you're all getting on. Good. Oh, legs are out. Yes, they are. <laughs> Julie, morning. Yes, thank you. Yeah. Oh, hello, Wendy. Lovely. Now, thank you very much. What we're going to do now is we're going to do a little bit of leg. So that was just loosening, gently loosening up the other bodies here, like all of this sort of stuff here. This is great because this will take all the tension out of the neck. And this is the sort of thing I do before I'm going to be performing in a theatre sometime, somewhere in the country. I'm just, just all of these sorts of exercises just, just to get loose. This isn't, I'm not trying to gain muscle or anything like that. Let's just do some, um, let's just do some knee bends. Now, put your feet together, all right? Now in the old days, if I turn my feet out like this, my old ballet teacher would be delighted. But what we're going to do is we're going to turn our toes in and we're going to just step to the side slightly. Now we're going to bend. We're going to do a squat. Now, but I need, nothing dramatic, don't get excited, but I need my knees to go over my toes. So I don't want anything that comes in. This, as Craig would say, is a disaster. This will cause you an untold amount of problems. This disaster. So I need the knees over the toes. See that? We're not going to do much technique, but this is very, very important because you do yourself an injury otherwise. Knees over toes. All right? Knees over toes. Now, we're going to bend a bit. I'm going to go on the side so you can see a little bit, right? So, now we're going to bend. And I go, bend. Now, I just want you to stick your bum out at the same time. One. Now, put your arms forward like this. Put them just like this, if you like. One. We're going to do eight. Two. But I want you just to go a steady pace. Three. Lovely. Four. Lovely. Five. Tremendous. Six. Seven. One more time. Eight. Good. I'm going to turn around the other way. We're going to do that again. If you don't want to do it again, don't do it again. Just watch. We'll do something else in a minute. Ready? For all you do, have another go. One. Two. Remember, knees over toes. Three. And four. Good. I'll go this way so you can see nose over toes. Five. Six. Lovely. Seven. Eight. Good. Shake out the thighs. Nice. This is good. I'm enjoying this. This is nice. Now, do a bit more legs. We're going to do steps to the side. Nothing dramatic. But we're just going to push away. One. Two. And three. Good. And four. Now, as you come back, right to the foot. Five. Good. Six. Loving that. Seven. Eight. Now we're going to go the other way. Ready? And one. Just a lunge and push. Three. Push. Four. Push. Remember, knees over toes. Six. Good. Seven. Loving that. Eight. Good. All right. Good. I want to do another movement with the upper body this time. Just relax your legs. Give them a shake. Big circles. One. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Out of the way. One, two, crash into the ceiling. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. For me, all that sort of stuff is marvellous because I love big circular movements. It's good for my upper body because it gets it loose. I just want everything to, I don't want to have to keep doing straight line stuff, although as marvellous as it is. Lots of rotational things like this just help to give me, get me a bit looser in the back, in the lower back especially as well. And we we'll do a couple of things just to help loosen off the lower back in a minute towards the end of the class. Now, we're going to look at that. I had a little moment there. Did you see that? I think I had a beading up. 
Must be because it's a warm day. We're going to do a couple of lunges. I know we all love lunge. Oh, lunges are revolting. So we're just going to do it now. We're going to start with our left foot. We're just going to go forward. One. Now, this is a very gentle lunge. If you can't lunge too much, then just go forwards and just do this. Right? Just, as long as you go forwards and back and forwards and back. And making sure that knee is over that toe. Anybody who's a bit more experienced or can lunge, I'd like a nice and straight thigh there, two, and always land on the heel, heel and back, we're going to give it eight, one, lovely, two, lovely, three, holding your stomach, four, five, good, six, loving all that, seven, loving all that, eight, Gorgeous, you can turn and go the other way. You'll be delighted to hear. Again, if it's too much, just a half lunge will do. Any bit more experience, you can go all the way down. I'm going to go on the leg this time. One, that would help, wouldn't it? Two, holding your stomach. Three, four, five, good. Six, seven, eight. Nice. Well done. Plies, lunges to the side, and forward lunges. You're doing marvellously. Thank you very much. Well done. Let's have a little look. Now, now we're going to do this. <laughs> I didn't realise we were alive. Uh, <laughs> thank you very much. Now, what I'm going to do here, bonjour, somebody. Uh, who was that? Bonjour. Pamor. Oh, hello. Uh, hello, uh, T Angel. How are you? Uh, thank you very much indeed for all the uh, comments. Now we're going to leave that for a bit and we'll carry on exercising. Now, what we're going to do is I'm going to, we're going to do a little bit of something on the floor. So I'm going to get the old mat out. If you, this is obviously a wooden floor, but you can, if you've got a carpet, you don't need a mat. If you haven't got a, a uh, if you've got a wooden floor like this or a sort of hard floor, just get a mat. Or anything. Or not, don't use the mat if, you, if, you, if your knees can bear it. We're going to do some press-ups. I, I knew you were thinking we were going to do press up and we are going to do some press-ups, but we're going to do two types of press-up. We're going to do the, the, uh, on the knees, this press-up here. So we're going to go forward here like this, and we're going to go on our knees, lifting your feet off the ground, roll onto your knees. Hands under the shoulders. Can you see me? Have I gone too low? I know you're there. And then we're just going to go up and down. So just do a press-up. Shoulder width apart, and you go press. Rock, and two. Now obviously, it's two, and three. Marvellous. Four, keeping your back straight. Don't arch, don't um, con uh, concave either. Try and keep it as straight as you can. Four, five, six, good, seven. Last one, eight. Marvellous, now if you can do the full press up, even better. So we can do this one. <laughs> Should we do eight full press ups? If you can't do a full press up, just do it a half press up. I've committed myself now. I must be silly or something. Two, get going. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Press ups. Now, when you're doing a press up, the most important thing again is one, you've got a strong uh, flat back, but also holding your middle. You don't want to sag. So that thing again where someone's going to poke you in the tummy, you go, oh, hold that middle, and then just gently up and down. Nothing too dramatic. Now, uh, we can do another set of those. Should we do another set of those? Let's do them on the knees. Let's do another set on the knees. If you want to do full press ups, go ahead. <laughs> if you really feel that way inclined. We'll do another set of press ups. Here we go. Ready? And one, good, two, marvellous. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good stuff. I love an eight. We could do 16, but I love an eight. All right, good press ups. Now, so far, we haven't gone mad. We're feeling warmer, feeling a bit looser, feeling a bit looser, like this, all right? What we're going to do now 
is we're just going to do some shoulder rolls, really. But I'm going to leave my arms out straight, here like this. And I'm just going to roll my arms. Now I want you to focus on keeping your shoulders down, here like this. And your arms out to the side, not too high, step to the side. And small rolls with your arms, like this. And you should feel it sort of in the lower part of the arm, but really in the sort of tricep and bicep area here, and not too much in the shoulders. And you're just rolling. So we're gonna go, ready? Backwards. Oh, holding your stomach all the time. Tell you what to do, just to make it a little more tricky. If you don't want to, don't do it, but if you do, just do it with your knees bent. Oh, holding that plie position, as my old dance teacher would say. So here we go, ready? And gripping the old buttockers. And a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight more. A one, oh no, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good forward. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> Why did we commit to going into the bent leg? We should have stayed on the straight leg. Good job, well done. Now, sort of work your legs a bit there as well, didn't you? As well, your upper arms. We're going to do this. Feeling alright? Take a breath. And breathe out. Take a breath. And breathe out. Good job. One more time. And breathe out. Now. Lovely. Now, we're going to go back on the mat. We're going to do a couple of bits for our abs. I know. Even the thought of it makes me feel a bit peculiar. We're going to pull the mat back. Now these again, I'm going to make them, you can make them as difficult or as hard as you like. Can you see me from the floor? Let me just tip that camera slightly down so you can see me a bit better. There you go. Oh, there you go. Small adjustment. You see we're live. Now, here we go. Now, we're going to lie down. Now, it's, I, I don't want you to hurt yourself. So we're going to do this gently. I want you just to lay down with your legs straight. And now most people, or a lot of people, have problems with their back. So we're not going to put too much strain on the back. I want you just to go up onto your elbows. This is a very easy way of doing some ab exercise. We're going to work on the lower abs. Go up onto your elbows like this here. And now just lift your legs. Three, don't let them touch the ground. Four, five, six, seven, eight. And relax. How was that? <laughs> that was really unpleasant, wasn't it? Now for me, I have a, uh, I, 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 doing any sort of ab work on a hard floor gives me a, a little, I might have a protruding coccyx, I don't know. But so I have to be careful, so I have to put myself in a decent position so I can do these sorts of exercises or get a, a decent mat. Now, this is quite good because it just takes, it just shifts my weight from that part of, the, uh, of my hip and just puts me a bit more onto the top of my buttocks. And uh, it also takes the pressure completely off my back and focuses it right on the centre. So here we go, we're gonna do it one more time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now, if this is too hard, bend your knees. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nice. Nice work. That's the lower abs. You have to do lower ab work and upper ab work. Now, we'll do the upper stuff next time. The lower ones are always the ones that get missed. So, well done. That will do for abs. Now, of course, with all these things, you want to, um, uh, do, you want to uh, uh, create more uh, work on the abs. Just do more sets. You can do ab work. You can just do and do and do. You can just do different sets of different sets. This is a very basic starting, like all this stuff. It's only warm-up. It's only just to get things sort of engaged and all the bits and pieces going. So I'm going to do one more thing. What are we doing for time? 
Oh, right, we're bombing on, aren't we? So, I'm gonna do the last thing, get the heart rate up. I'm gonna do some running on the spot. Very simple. Just this. Don't have to go high on your toes like this. Don't lower the heels. But I want you to do it holding your middle. So like this here. I'm gonna do this for 16 counts. One, two, three, keep the arms going. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Now we're gonna do star jumps. One, but I'm not gonna do the arms because I think I'm gonna whack the ceiling. So just in and out. Arms, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One more set. This must look ridiculous on Terry. One, six, seven, eight. I think I'll cut my head off as well. I move the screen, never mind. Let me just pop you back. So, there you go. Now, if I was going to be doing a show tonight, I'd feel like I'd warmed up a bit. We're going to do a couple of stretches. Just to end, <laughs> I'll get my breath back. I'm going to get my mat. <laughs> but now if I'm doing a show to this evening, as I say, I feel warmed up, I feel ready, and then I'd go into some sort of a, I'll be ready to do some sort of rehearsal. Now, this. If you've been in a car for a long time, as I, or a long time, as I do, or if you're having to sit down, work on a computer, whatever it is you do, or just like to sit down a lot, the hip area, I don't know if it's like the same for you as, as, as for me, this area gets tight. The problem is with the hip area, everything starts sort of here. This is sort of central station, this area here. And it all goes down like that. And then stuff comes from the top into it. So it's a very important area. Now, we all know about stretching the uh, hamstrings. We all know about this one here. We all know about this one here. Stretching the quads, you'll know about stretching the calves here, this one here, on the step, just letting your heels drop, stretching the calves there. This one here is a good one here, just going over these, these are very common stretches here where you have a bent front knee, a straight back knee, but then you bend the back knee, and that rather than takes the stretch from the upper calf, it puts it more into the lower part of the calf and into the Achilles. This is a very important stretch, so you just press forward on there. One stretch that gets missed, and it's here, hip flexors. These are so important, I can't even begin to tell you. You must stretch these in order to make this lot work better. So if you want to stretch your back, you must stretch your front first. This is one that I do. Very, just a very basic one, it's nothing too dramatic. So again, I just lean forward, I've got this position here in the legs, pick my body up, hold my centre in, and just lean forward towards that leg. Don't lean forward from the shoulders, just push your weight forward here. Now you should feel this stretch coming through the back leg here. If you want to push your leg forward a bit further here, good. Now, if you want to, and you, if, you're, if you feel comfortable, you can just push this arm up here into the air. And what this does here, just gives this stretch all the way up the side, I'm feeling it through the front of the, um, the quad and in principally to the hip flexor, so here. Now once upon a time, as all, with all these things, the uh, trends of thought were that you bounced a stretch. And then, not so long after that, they went, don't bounce a stretch, are you mad? You stretch, you push the stretch, you release the stretch, and then you push the stretch some more. And somebody else went, don't do that, are you mad? So, there you are. Just stretch just i like to hold the stretch i breathe and then i just go on my final breath i stretch a bit more here into there marvelous now i'm going to turn around the other way same thing here i'm just going to push this part forward here i don't let this stick out otherwise you're gonna you lose the stretch in the front i'm just going to push that forward here Move my foot forward, stretch that out a little bit more. And then I'm just going to breathe. My old teacher used to talk about breathing into the stretch. What about that? So here we go. Now my personal trainer, a young lady called Jessica Blake, who's marvellous, 
We, I've been uh, working with her for quite a long time, and she's absolutely marvellous, she keeps me in shape. And I've, all the exercises that we're going to be doing, I'm going to uh, do in conjunction with her. So, oh, look at that, say, push, 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 push. And she's very, very good. She's been a personal trainer for many, many years. Lovely. So, if you need to know anything really, really technical, let me know, and I'll ask her if I haven't got the answer. Hip flexors, we're just doing a very, very basic back of the leg stretch. Just do this one because it's quite simple. Just here, just sitting into the, keep your back straight and sit into the back leg. And that way you'll just see that, feel that pull down the back of the leg. Here, into the back of the knee and into the hamstring. Very good. Bit the other way here, just to finish off. Here we go. Pull, pull, pull. Oh, there it is. There she is. And there. Good. Marvellous. Give them a shake. Give them a shake. Thank you very much indeed for joining me this afternoon. Well, I enjoyed that. I feel like I'm ready for a show. If only. I'll have to perform for my children and Hannah later. They can see another show. Thank you, my loves. Stay safe. Look after yourselves. Enjoy the rest of the day. And I'll see you, probably not tomorrow, I'll see you Monday. See you then. Much love.